Here I am at my latest project up the Poconos. We got a, like a lot of trailer homes around here. Trailer home there. Most of them are trailers. This one looks like a double wide, but I don't know if I'd call it a trailer. And they got this wall out here, it looks pretty good. Looks like it's in good shape. Pretty nice landscaping. The wall looks tight, the stairs are tight. Got some broken lights here and there, but this gate could use a little maintenance, but no biggie. So then you got like a walk around porch over here, but it doesn't really go to anything. Got your meter right here. I'll walk around the outside of the house. Not a lot of parking, but you could probably get two cars there. Maybe, I guess you can get more than that. You could get three. Three cars, but you're not getting any more, that's for sure. So, then we got this deck here, and it's the front door. We're gonna go in there in a sec. The concrete pad out here, and uh, the skirting needs a little repair, maybe a paint job. Got a shed right here. And you can look underneath. There was or is some. Can't open the shed, it's locked. There was or is uh, several water lines that froze in the winter, he told me about. So, this is what the backyard looks like. No idea where it starts or ends. There's a little mini rock climbing mountain here and uh looks like it goes up from there over there there's your neighbor's house Let me walk out and show you this house so this is the back of the house it's got a you know little deck on it which i don't see any problems with it maybe you could just get cleaned up, break the leaves, some new lawn furniture, power wash the moss off the shed, and the siding. And I have to go this way. Air conditioner outside, the compressor outside looks like it's had it. And you can see inside the it's all accessible under here. Skirting should be fine. Just have to put it all back. Bear shit? Maybe. There's even a way to get back on the stairs. I like that. I like the staircase. It's all right. Okay. Let's go inside. So we got a little living room here. This thing could look to be modernized a bit. Got old carpets. Old, uh furniture my wife and i we buy a lot of furniture for vacation rental houses so that won't be a problem it's got new glass skylights according to the owner uh, a little fireplace a hutch into the kitchen and here's your dining area your dining room so let's start this way 
little hutch. And here's your kitchen. Little table for the kitchen right next to the window. I like that. It's got a sunny feel to it. Uh, nothing too fancy. Typical mountain house type kitchen setup. Said the stove is new. The fridge is, uh, could use a replacement. There's a Looks like a toaster oven over there and a microwave over here. Everything comes with the house. In here you got a closet. Got... Uh, I don't know what's up here. This is like looks like an electric heater. And then in here is the water heater. I assume it still works. He didn't tell me it was wrong. It was bad, but... Uh, um, he also has another heater here, so I have to ask about that. Electrical panel looks updated. It's 100 amp. Also comes with the washer and dryer. All right, then we got this room. So, what would I do with this room? It's not a long room. It goes the width of the house. Uh, it's got four skylights in it. He didn't replace these. But he did replace, I thought he said two of them. And you can kind of tell one of them, he, he's, he had a sticker on one of the windows. I would turn this into a bedroom. Put like a bunk bed over here. And uh, maybe another bunk bed over here on this side or a bed. Uh, sleeping, you can get some more sleepers here. So anyway, got this nice sliding glass nice french door set i guess you call it no i don't know what the heck you call it it opens like a regular door i guess this is a broken window but it's still intact so looks like an anderson window too so i guess you could say this house has four bedrooms and that's probably what i'm gonna use it for all right back in here all right, so we got our washer and dryer, our electrical panel, our extra heater, back in the kitchen, we're back in the dining room, here's our living room, we're going to go this way, this is our master bedroom, so it actually has like windows here, maybe somebody added on to this house at some point, but the windows here... So the master bedroom is next to the other room, the big room in the back. And they could use an upgrade in furniture here, that's for sure, but this isn't bad. You got a double uh, sink here. You got a pretty big tub here with one of the brand new skylights looking in. And here's the shower. It looks fine. Uh, don't know that there's really much of any work that needs to be done here. A little bit of cleaning and replacing furniture. The sinks look fine. They're like made of plastic. But, you know, it's okay. Size of the master bedroom. It's got a... Uh, little closet over here for owners and then like one closet with some dressers to put your stuff and uh, this over here is just like an entrance piece maybe put your uh, car keys on stuff like that and then we got a hall closet what have we got over here we got towels and we got another bathroom so two full baths with plastic sinks <laughs> and a uh, tub and a tub surround. So I'd say there's probably nothing in here to fix either except remove the handicap accessible uh, toilet. And then in here we got a pretty simple room. It's not huge. But it's got a closet, two beds, electric heaters, which most mountain houses have. I don't see a satellite dish out there. I guess that's the neighbors. All screwed to the tree. Interesting. Okay. 
guess we got a satellite TV out here. And then in here is the second bedroom. Same kind of closet. Looks like a full-size bed. A couple of windows, a dresser. So I guess our tour is done.